and BBC Audio Services. The putting you through to the next available advice. Please note all calls are recorded for training and monitoring purposes. The independent research company ICM currently conducting a survey on our behalf, results of which will be used to improve the service we offer. This telephone survey will be carried out by ICM viewers over the next few days. If you would like to take part in the survey and are happy for us to collect your name and phone numbers, please press 1. If not, please press 2. Thank you. We'll now be transferred to the next available advisor. When calling to provide feedback, we have an inquiry at the BBC. Hello? Okay, hi. Uh, good afternoon to you. Um, sorry, your voice was not very loud, so I didn't know you've responded. Um, I am calling you from Italy, and I'm not making an inquiry. I want to make a report. Are you with me? Okay, yes. Yes, okay. I want to, yes. Yes, I want to report um, a documentary that was published by BBC against Biafrans and IPOB at large. I am a Biafran, and that um, documentary was false, and, um, and it was malicious. Are you with me? And it was a really, really bad line. Like, all I heard was that you were concerned about the documentary that in the favor of Is that correct? Yes, it was very malicious, and it was false. Do you understand me? Okay. Yes. What's the name of the program? Yes. The 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 name of they say the name of the they say IPOB Media Warrior. Um the, the heading was Nigeria, IPOB Media Warrior instigating um violence and killings in Nigeria. Are you with me? And BBC is very much aware okay. that IPOB is a peaceful movement. You understand now? BBC knows that IPOB right. has never harmed anybody because IPOB is led by Mazi Namdekanu, who is now in Nigeria DSS custody. He was traveling with British passport because he's a British citizen. Are you understanding me? He was kidnapped in Kenya and he was extraordinarily renditioned to Nigeria, you know, and they locked him up and BBC or Britain has never written any memo or any statement condemning the act, despite our leader, Martin Namdekan, being a British citizen. Are you with me? Instead, BBC turned around and tried to do, and did the documentary, not right, because they did the documentary and they published it. Are you with me? They now, in the documentary, they were saying all forms of lies against Biafran, trying to heighten the ongoing genocide against the Biafran people that is currently going on in Nigeria because Biafrans have been massacred, killed on a daily basis in Nigeria. As I speak to you now, they are killing Biafrans in Nigeria. Are you with me? And you also are aware okay. that raising up a media propaganda against victims of extraordinary, I mean against victims of oppression, against victims of oppression is a crime against humanity. And this is what BBC is doing. Right. If you can remember, 1967 to 70, there was a genocide against Biafran. Do you know that British covered that genocide, but they refused to report to the world what is happening? You know, they foresee the killings, the slaughter against Biafran by the Nigerian um, troops, by the Nigerian army, but they did not report it to the world. Instead, they were busy videoing and, and, and lying to the world that it was just a, a police problem. Are you with me now? Now, do you know there was a BBC correspondent in Biafra, 1967-70. His name is Frederick Forsyth. He was a, then he was still a young man. Now he's a very old man. He's still alive. There we see in Britain. You know, he made a report. He wrote a book, and he was now talking about the evil and the evil deed of BBC, BBC News in Biafra, because they covered up all the genocide and all the massacres. Are you with me? Now, instead of BBC being apologetic for their evil against the Biafran people, now what they did is that they turned around and tried and did a documentary, trying to instigate or to heighten 
the already ongoing. I'm, I'm coming. Let me, let, let me, you are going to speak. Let me finish. I'm coming. I'm coming. Now, their documentary is aimed at taming IPOB a terrorist um, group because Nigeria has no evidence. You know, you know, Nigeria is a country that nothing functions there. Nigeria is the largest country. You know that our leader, Mazin Amdekano, has been uh, in the court. Uh, can you ask up your comment? Uh, can you ask him to finish your comment? Uh, you, the you, world is known. You say uh, what? Uh, what's happening in Nigeria uh, to senior management and the BBC. So please thank you for taking the time to call to the Assembly. Thank you. No, the problem is, are you listening? Hello, are you hearing me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I want to. Yes. Uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to, uh, no, listen, I want, as a reporter, that's why I called you, because this is customer service line, you know, I have the right to call you. I want you to make sure, to ensure that this report gets to both the British government and also to the BBC board that is controlling uh, BBC internationally, for them to make sure that those who are responsible for that force and malicious documentary against IPUB and their fans at large are being brought to justice because what we are asking for is justice. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm going to do, sir. That is what I will do. Okay. So it is very, very important. You know why? And, and also, I'm coming, my brother. The documentary should also be put down. The documentary should be put down because it's false and it's malicious. It's a crime against humanity. Okay, you have stated that a few times, sir, and I've understood that. So thank you very much for taking the time to call. All the best. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. thank you very much. Please, act on my message, eh? God bless you.